So, welcome everybody. Um, welcome at the Venture Cafe, which is quite unusual for me to say, to start off with. Uh, my name is Bas van der Poel. I work for AIR, which is the Rotterdam Architecture Institute. And for those who don't know AIR, just in short, uh, we're the local architecture center and we're tasked to search out new challenges for the city and its spatial development and to broaden them through public debates. So this is, in short, the shortest version I can think of. Uh, we're also the initiator of the Rotterdam Architecture Month, together with Rotterdam Festivals and Rotterdam Partners. And uh, we started this two years ago to, uh, well, really to connect the celebration of the city and the way it has been developing recently, and to search out parallel to that, new challenges and new ways to go about strengthening our city spatially as well as socially. So this is uh, what we're looking for. So first off, you can just have fun and go on rooftops and walk through houses and visit buildings in weekends and in the days between, you can look from new, for new knowledge and exchange that. So this is in short what the Rotterdam Architecture Month does every June. Perhaps next year we'll shift it a bit forward. Uh, but this is, in short, what we do. Um, so, as part of the Architecture Month, uh, as AIR, partnering with several institutions, among others, the Field Academy, we are looking for new ways to collaborate uh, on how the city is developing through large-scale urban development. Um, mainly because we feel that uh, there's a lot of opportunities for Rotterdam to transform through these big urban transformations like Feyenoord City and the Merafee House development and everything that's <coughs> going on within our city harbors. Uh, but we might only do that successfully if we really make sure that everybody in the city feels that they belong to that development. And it's part of their stories as well. And this is not a given. It's a big challenge to make sure that while the city is transforming and celebrating its successes, it's also a story everybody can relate to. So uh, we thought that designing community uh, two days search for this uh, challenge. Um, and we looked across our borders to do so. Not because we feel we don't know anything, but we feel as Rotterdam, we should always look across our borders because we are a very diverse and international city we're a harbor city, and we have a big and proud tradition in learning from people who might open up new perspectives. So in short, this is why we uh, initiated this two-day event, two event. So uh, today we're starting off with, uh, I think, quite honorably, uh, our guests from Freedom. So Victoria Waldin and Anna Edblom from White Architecture. And they will tell a bit about the firm itself. It's quite, spe uh, quite uh, specially organized as well. It's leading in the women in architecture movement. It's one of the biggest firms in the world with almost 900 employees. And uh, so I, I, I looked it up. It was a top 15 firm, right, uh, recently. Uh, so all, these is, all this is special. But the main thing I feel is that they're involved in co-creative processes on large-scale urban development schemes. Among, among other things, moving a whole city and its total community. So I think it's a learning experience for us in our local condition to, uh, to, uh, to listen to them. So secondly, the second speaker is uh, Jeroen Dix, who is in front here. He is from our local firm, KCAP, oh, well, local. It's all over the world, but it's also from Rotterdam, from Feyenoord, actually. And Jeroen will share with us one of their Danish projects, uh, namely Fredericia, where they are expanding the city with a 25% uh, area. And this you can only do by involving the local community. So he will be sharing how they are going about and what this actually uh, presents as a result. So it's quite special. To summarize, tonight uh, we have one and a half hours 40 minutes of story by White. They'll take us along in their journey for Kiruna, which is way up north, as you will experience. Uh, and we feel it's a very inspiring laboratory setting for working with local communities on these big issues. And secondly, Jeroen, a bit shorter, 20 minutes, uh, we agreed. And then we'll wrap up with a talk and have a few 
uh, I give you the opportunity to question them and to ask questions and to uh, really try and take from the stories what we might use in Rotterdam as well. So this was it uh, from me. I will switch places with you and uh, invite you kindly to join us on the stage. So Anna and Victoria, thank you very much.